Hey guys, what's going on? Dan Meyer here, out here on the ice today. Gonna be looking for some crappie. So what we got going on today, we're fishing a lake. Well, we're gonna be fishing a basin bite. We're out here on the ice right now. The spot we're fishing, it's just a big, giant mud flat. That's pretty much what it is. There's no real structure here holding these fish. There's no defined hole. You know, there's, there's no shoreline structure or anything. It's just a big basin. So, the reason we're fishing this spot is because this fall, I found crappies out here. So now we're coming back. Uh, this is pretty, this is first ice. We had to walk, we had to walk out here because the ice isn't thick enough to uh, get a snowmobile out here yet, but it is thick enough that we were able to walk out here. So the plan is I'm just gonna drill this whole area out. You can kind of, when you just look, you can see, I mean, nobody's been out here. It's just a big open area. I'm gonna cut that whole area up, starting a little bit at a time, cut some holes, fish them, and then we're gonna see if we can't uh, catch some fish. I just got done cutting the first series of holes here. You can see I've got my dad with me. He's, fish he's fishing over there. I've got some here. I popped them over here, going this way. Just cut a little area out here. I'm gonna check these, see if I mark any fish. If I don't, I'm gonna just keep on expanding this area, making it bigger. Got about maybe, I don't know, 10 yards in between holes. Kind of spaced them out right now because I don't know exactly where the fish are. There's nothing here really to concentrate. So what I'm expecting these fish to do when I can find them is they're going to be spread out and roaming in small pods of fish. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. Every once in a while a bigger pod. That's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm not sure yet because we haven't found any of these fish. But because of that, because they're just going to, there's nothing to hold them here. They're just going to be constantly roaming around searching for food. So we're going to, you know, fish these holes out a little bit, see if anything comes through. And if they don't, like I said, I'm going to be back on the drill. I've got it ready to go. So I'm going to start setting up here and uh, we're going to just check these holes. Get the old gloves on. I'm going to get my rod and, uh, we're going to see, we're going to check some of the first holes. I've got another camera with me here today. Get that once we find some fish. Let's check the first hole and see if there's any crappie down here. Like I said, I have not been here since the fall. The other thing that's interesting is I, when I fished here in the fall and found them, it, the water wasn't really that cool yet. It was like the it was before turnover. They were just sliding into their fall pattern. So because of that, I'm not exactly sure. You can see it's 17 feet deep here. I'm not exactly sure what depth these fish are going to be running. Um, they could have slid a little bit deeper. This is not the deepest part of the lake. They could have slid deeper as that water cooled off. We're going to find out. Here's the first drop. There's my bait going down. And so far, not a lot. Oh, something maybe popping up down by the bottom. Maybe. We'll get the bait down there, see if anything wants to come up. There's a there's a that's a crappie, guys. That's a crappie. First hole, first. I think that's a crappie. We're gonna see if we can get him to hit it. I think I got an up bite. Yep. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth, guys. Shoot, first fish, that's an important fish to confirm it's a crappie. And I pulled it out of his mouth. That's bad. He might, he's, he's, he's still there, I think. Hard to tell, I put a lot of bubbles in the water there. Where's my bait? There's my bait. I scared him away. That was important, that was an important fish. Should have given him a little more time. I thought I had an upbite though. See if we can't get him to come back. I'm just gonna fish this out. Let's go check another hole and give this hole a second. I wanna see if he hit my bait. I'm not sure. Let's go check the hole behind us. I'll come right back to that hole to check this hole right here. Right. Talking to the folks at home. All right. So this hole, about the same depth. All right, guys. So what I did, I fished all those holes. 
Then I uh, drilled some new holes and have not marked any, any crappies. Maybe that one in the very first hole. So I'm gonna move. I think, I think what happened is when we got him here the fall, it was before turnover. It was kind of in a transition zone. So I think they may have moved a little deeper now that the lakes froze. So I'm gonna move a couple hundred yards from this spot into the deeper water. We're gonna see if we can't get them there. All right, guys. So we just got to the new spot. Just drilled some new holes. My dad is fishing already and he just had a crappie marked but couldn't get his bait down there. And the first hole he sat into. So now I'm gonna get over here. We're gonna start fishing this new set of holes out. See if the crappie are here. Okay, so this is spot number two, hole number one. Bait is going down. So we moved into deeper water now. See if those fish slid out a little deeper, which is kind of my guess. But we had to try where we first, or where we marked them in the fall, you know, just to rule that spot out. Here we go, guys. So I was late getting my uh, camera on. This is one of those fish that hit down by the bottom. Let's see what we got here. That's what we're looking for, guys. That's what we're looking for. First crappie of the day. Not a bad looking fish either. There's another crappie down there. I'm gonna let him go. See you, guy. Down he goes. Another crappie right there, if we can get the bait down there. My dad's got something. He's fighting pretty good. Oh, nice crappie. Oh. <laughs> Lost him in the hole. Still saved it. Nice looking crappie. That's what we're going for. So we've kind of found them. We haven't found them real thick. I'm gonna pop, pop a few more holes over in this area. We got a pretty good, you know, decent line of holes, but I think we caught we caught two crappies now in about five, six minutes. So I'm gonna drill this out a little bit and see if we can really dial in. Crappie just came in on the big jigging strokes. Oh, and this guy's pretty aggressive. He came right up. Did he hit? There he, he nibbled it. Got him. There, then he, then he committed and actually took it. What do we got here, guys? Crappie. We gotta find some bigger ones. Right color, wrong size. These are not the slabs we've been getting earlier this year. Let that guy go. Oh, here we go, guys. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. All of a sudden, it's a pretty good mark. Unless it's more than one fish, which is possible. Came One of them came right up to it. Got him. Hooked up. Oh, it's a better fish. Hooked up. Yep. This guy is able to dog at least. Yep. There we go, guys. Now that look how he hit that plastic. Another nice crappie right there. We're start. We're we're finding him now. There's another one down there. That's another. There's another nice mark down here, guys. I'm trying to get down there. Right here's the mark. We got another nice crappie mark down here. They're, they're coming through in schools. I, you know, you sit here for a while, and all of a sudden another nice one comes through. Man, I'm not gonna get down there again in time. They're not sticking around long. They're coming through, they're moving through, and they're keeping on going. A lot easier on dads. Yeah. I think I got him. Got him, guys. I had three fish stacked in this hole. There's still two of them down there. This first fish, there he is, is a crappy, and he just smoked that bait. There, all my fish are gone. Not a giant, but look at that guy. He just crushed that bait. Right color. All right, guys, I'm just gonna show you real quick what I'm using here today. So I'm using my 32-inch tuned-up custom precision noodle. I love this as my crappie rod. Good, nice, bendable tip on this. I've got four pound mono on this and I'm gonna be using a 132nd ounce tungsten jig with a little makey plastic on it. So it looks like this. Just a little, chart, it's a chartreuse jig and chartreuse tail. Uh, I did a video just talking about this bait. I can link to that up in the corner if you wanna 
get some more details, but that's just what I'm going to be using today. I like using a noodle rod. It's a fun fight for fighting these crappies, plus with that sensitive tip, you can detect those soft bites. We are getting some of those soft bites today, so I got a fish down here. I just showed you what I'm using. Come on, guy. Come on. Here he comes. He's not flying at the bait, but he is coming up. Let's see if we can't get a hit here. He's right there checking us out. There's, there's another one coming in lower, which might be what it takes. There we go. Got him. Got him, guys. We are catching quite a few fish here today. Oh, and I was taking my glove off. Uh, I kind of lost control. Oh, he flops off in the hole. Glad I got him, because he's not a bad fish. <laughs> that guy flopped off in the hole, guys. Look at this fish. I'm gonna measure that guy real quick. He's got a buddy down there. I'm gonna see if I can't get his buddy. There's no way I'm getting down there in time, but here we go, guys. We got one that's coming in. Ooh, and he's aggressive, too. I think he's on. Got him. There's some... Yeah, that's a little bit better fish right here, guys. He was a nice high mark. He's pulling pretty good. Let's see how big he is. He's stuck in the deucer. Not a giant, but a nice little crappie. This guy was sitting pretty high. I thought uh, he came in high. Oh, I just had two more fish come in. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these. There's one in, one coming in. We're gonna let this guy go, because it's a little colder today. We got a fish down there though, he's sitting right here. There's one below him. This is my bait, we just caught that fish. We're gonna see if we can get down there. So what we're kind of finding now is there's pods of fish. Some of them are ones and twos. Right here, I got a decent pod. Just caught one, and I got three on the locator. But they're mo they're leaving. My bait is gonna. I think it's gonna get down there in time for it. There's one left. There's one fish down there, and he sees it. And he, I think he wants it. He's coming up for it. That's kind of what the pattern's been today. The, the fish are. We're having to move around quite a bit to stay on these fish, and. Uh, the schools are varying from like one to four. That's just the size of the pods that we're finding. We're working for them, but, but, but we're getting fish. There he is. Ooh. He's got a little pull in him right here at the end. There he is, guys. <coughs> Caught a lot of crappie today. Not a giant. Back down the hole he goes, but we've caught a lot of fish. Well guys, that's it for today. Had a pretty good day today, caught a lot of crappie. Uh, good to see a lot of different year classes in this lake. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.